Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Janie and I do a little bit of everything on this channel from lots of outdoor adventures, travel, and now we're getting into some home remodels and plants. Um, we just moved from Minnesota to Colorado in a brand new house here. So we're in the process of a lot of updates, makeovers, all that fun and stuff. So lots of Colorado life going on here. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe. But in today's vlog, we are getting started on our master bathroom makeover so I'm so excited to get started on this little project so I have some footage here of when we were here with our realtor looking at this house on what our master bathroom looked like it's a very simple master bath which I am okay with there's like no big like fancy tub or anything in it which I'm okay with because I had that in my old house in Minnesota and I never used it and we ended up tearing it all out we realized we're not big like tub people so it doesn't even matter to us. But one thing I do love is it has a nice double vanity sink, which I did not have in my, our last master baths. So everything equals out. So we are doing just some nice, simple updates to this master bath. We aren't going too crazy. However, we are replacing all the countertops. They are so ugly. They look like vomit and I hate them. <laughs> so the first thing we're doing is getting those ugly brown Formica countertops out. We already went shopping and purchased our brand new cords countertops for our bathrooms and we just redid our entire kitchen too. So basically we're doing a lot of a little like cosmetic updates just to like freshen it up and make it more our style. So new light fixtures, mirrors, you know, the whole work. We're not going to be repainting or anything because I love a light, bright bathroom. I don't want to go heavy with color or anything. So color is staying. <laughs> so with that said, let's get started making over our master bathroom. We gotta take this mirror down because I don't want this full mirror here. And we taped it just in case it shatters. So hopefully, hoping for the best. Guys, so counters are gone and look at the disaster on my wall. <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on, but the mirrors that they put up, they put this black tar? I don't know what that is. See that? but it like held the mirror up. It was extremely difficult to get off and look what it did to all my beautiful drywall, brand new walls. Like, what the heck? I've never seen anything like it and it's just awful, like absolutely awful. So we pretty much have to like retexture that whole wall for when I put in my new mirrors. <sighs> It'll be worth it. I'm just gonna keep telling myself that. It's gonna be worth it. And then we have the line of caulking all the way around those ugly counters. It will be worth it, you guys. It'll be worth it. <laughs> guys, the brand new countertops are in. They look so stinking good. I love this quartz for the bathrooms. It's just like perfect. And these sinks, and we got our little faucets installed. They're so cute. So absolutely loving how that all looks together. Looks great. Now, to figure out what the heck we're gonna do with this wall right here. <laughs> so I just finished retexturing these walls. So I went and bought this wall texture knockdown since our walls are knockdown texture. I've never used this before. This is our first time using this. I'm actually pretty happy how this all turned out. Once I repaint all this, it's gonna be great and hopefully not noticeable at all. But I know some of our mirrors will cover a lot of these spots too, but still I, I want it to be nice. <laughs> and then I retextured like all around that caulking line. We had to like scrape it off of course with like a razor and we did a little sandpaper on it just to kind of get level. And then I just put this texture right over and you guys, I hardly see the line, especially now after I paint it, it's gonna look good. <laughs> so if you're needing to do some retexture, I would recommend this. I, I was a little hesitant. I was actually thinking about, oh, we could just put like an accent shiplap wall, but you guys, I'm so over that phase. I am so over shiplap and that whole style. That was my old house in Minnesota. I am not putting one touch of shiplap or anything in this house. <laughs> done with that. We installed all these brand new door handles. So we bought these guys on Amazon. I love like the modern feel of these door handles and they are really, really good quality. So I'm um, happy how these turned out. They're just the black square modern door handles and I love them. They're perfect and they look really, really well on these natural maple cabinets. And one other thing my husband did, it went through our entire house and updated all the drawers to the soft close drawer slides. So he went in and replaced all these. It was a lot of work, you guys. Um, yeah, he probably will never do that ever again because it was so awful. Well, he probably will because it is worth having them because they're so nice. So yeah, all our drawers have soft close drawer slides and I love it. The 
mail guy who was just here. I'm pretty sure my new lights are delivered uh, for our bathroom and probably my husband's bathroom. We're redoing his too, just doing a few updates. Nothing serious with his bathroom. Um, and yes, we have a master bath with two sinks. However, he has his own bathroom. <laughs> we like our own space with our bathrooms and we can like do what we want in our bathroom. So let's go check out the new light. I just unpacked this. This is stinking gorgeous. Here are all the little glass fixtures that will sit right on this. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so cute. So I got a six bulb light fixture so that there's more light. So the one that we have in there now that's absolutely hideous is only a four light. And it's fine, it there gives off enough light in there, but I like bright bathrooms because you know you're doing your makeup and doing all the things it's just nice and bright that's what I like so that's why I got a six bulb one I don't know if I mentioned this I bought this from Amazon I can't wait to get it installed and get rid of that ugly one up there I just realized I have like styrofoam left in my hair from unpacking that thing <laughs> and that's my cat's little mice that's not like real mice so anyways just living life here in Colorado <laughs> <laughs> the next thing I need to do is get rid of these ugly, ugly towel holders. I just love simple hooks for my towel holders. I don't like those little loopy things. And then same with this towel bar that was put in. Absolutely not. I do not like towel bars. I rather have a bunch of hooks. So that's what we're doing. Here are the mirrors that will be going in the bathroom. So I picked these up at Lowe's. Um, I was looking for large chunky mirrors and after doing a Google search, Lowe's actually had <laughs> the best ones at the best price. What I love is that it has this like really chunky edge and so it kind of gives it like some depth. Say, hey bud. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, but I'm excited to get some mirrors back in my bathroom. It's been way too long. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a couple things I want to talk to you about. The first one is light bulbs. So one thing over the years I have truly became uh, very picky about is my light bulbs that are in my light fixtures. We moved into this house. All the light bulbs in our house are a soft white tone. And I absolutely hate soft white. It gives off yellowish tones in all your rooms. So I've been having to replace all the bulbs room by room as we are doing updates with daylight bulbs. Daylight is going to be your truest white bulb. Big deal to me. I don't like all the yellow tones that soft white gives off in rooms. It just gives weird colors. Really great comparison. Super yellow super white. I love a true white, so daylight bulbs is where it's at. So just a little tip for you with light bulbs. <laughs> Next up is shower curtains. Now, something I want to talk about because I've had personal experience about it. In our old home in Minnesota, we had the beautiful subway tile shower with the glass surround. It was lovely, right? However, it was the biggest pain in my Having tile showers with the glass, it was something I had to pretty much clean every single time I showered so it looked pretty and sparkly. And the biggest thing in life I hate doing is cleaning showers. Yes, I hate it. I hate cleaning showers. And then once it's clean, you still have all your shampoo, your conditioner, your scrubs, your razors, all the things in your shower. So. You still see all the stuff. It's not like it's hidden because you have glass surrounds. So unless you had little like shower cubbies or put your shampoo and stuff in like these pretty little bottles, I mean, it never looked perfect. And it pretty much drove me nuts. So when we bought this house and I saw it had just a standard shower, I was absolutely happy to not see tile and glass. Now I can buy a beautiful shower curtain and cover that whole thing up and I don't have to clean it daily and it's just easier to clean. <laughs> So this shower curtain I actually just bought at Target. It is just a simple white shower curtain with the pretty fringe here up on the top and then of course here on the bottom. Just clean and simple, hides all my stuff. Sometimes the expensive pretty things in life are not always worth it. This $20 shower curtain and this regular shower, it makes my heart happy. It really does. <laughs> Alright you guys, the master bathroom is complete. And it looks amazing. Woo! So before I show you the final reveal, let me remind you what it looked like before we started the remodel. And let me show you how awesome it looks now. Is this amazing? 
or is it amazing? I am so happy how this turned out. It looks so much different just by adding some new decor items and of course the mirrors, countertop. That was huge because those countertops were just awful. I'm sure you can agree. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip the camera around and just kind of give you a little overview of all the items here in the bathroom. And I'll also leave some of the affiliate links below in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of these items. Starting from the top, and I've already talked about this, is this gorgeous six ball light fixture. It is awesome. It lights up so well in this bathroom with having such a large vanity with the two mirrors. I was worried like six wouldn't even be enough, but it's absolutely perfect. And I'm totally digging the gold and the black. It's kind of like my new favorite thing. I love gold and black. We've been redoing my husband's bathroom and yeah, he's getting the same stuff. <laughs> I already talked about these two mirrors. They're from Lowe's. So this right here is pompous grass and I love pompous grass. We actually just started doing landscaping in our backyard and I'm gonna be planting pompous grass in our backyard because I love it so much. It just softens the bathroom with these beautiful pompous grass stems. This little soap dispenser is from Target and we got this cute little gold tray just to kind of put my items on it. That is from Hobby Lobby and it's so cute, I love it. This is actually like a wine cork thing but I use it as my uh, wedding ring holder. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-purpose, right? Another item I want to share. This is my supplement holder and I got this from Natural Life and I just saw it. It's cute. It's not like those ugly plastic ones that you see at like, you know, Walmart. Um, it's a classy, cute little supplement holder. So I love the quote on this. This is the inside. It has all my different supplements that I take daily. So, so cute. Love having that here. As I mentioned, the faucets are from Lowe's. Got all the doorknobs from Amazon, which I'm in love with. Over here, I ended up switching out the towel holders for these cute little guys and I think I got these at Home Depot um, I just needed two of them so they're just cute and once you put the towel on top it actually kind of hides it so you don't even see them <laughs> so much better than those ugly ring towel holders and then uh, moving along I replaced the ugly bar towel holder <laughs> for these little cuties which I got from Lowe's so happy how these turned out they're so modern and just we're perfect for towels. The toilet area. I always thought these were stupid. However, I just, I did it. I bought one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a toilet paper holder with a little tray to lay my phone or whatever because I don't have the counter right there. And I know that's probably like gross, but I don't know how many times I actually like went to the bathroom and I like set my phone on the floor instead of like on the counter. I don't know why. <laughs> it's weird, but I actually love it. It's perfect. And I just realized I have to fill this hole. So I guess still working on this bathroom. Love this so simple gold and white Kleenex box. And if you watched our master bedroom makeover vlog, you know where I get all my art from. And this piece was actually in one of the collections that I purchased from Etsy when I purchased my bedroom art. So I just, I already had it, so I went and got a print made and I love it. It's beautiful, I love the colors and the design. You know all my take on the shower curtain stuff. I am so happy to have a shower curtain again. And that is right, you guys. I'm so happy how it turned out. It's beautiful, it's perfect, it's clean, it's crisp. It's just simple, but it's like makes a wow statement at the same time, which I love that. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope I was able to give you some tips or inspiration. I love doing my little makeovers. We've been knocking them out. And if you've been watching my last two vlogs, we just finished our full closet makeover and then our master bedroom makeover. So definitely go check out those two vlogs and there's more to come. I have another bathroom I'll be doing, our half bath, and then our kitchen and all the things. So work in progress. So be sure to subscribe and follow along. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.